everybody, what's up? It's iJevin. How is everybody doing today? Hope you guys are all having a good day. I've got some bad news, guys. Um, yesterday, after I got done recording, my uh, world got corrupted somehow. I I'm not sure. when I like What happened was is I signed in, and I was getting like one frame per second, and... Um, it, like I, I tried updating, you know, downgrading, like putting the world into a new jar. Pretty much, you know, every option I had available. Um, fortunately, uh, I have learned over the time of playing my Minecraft that, uh, you know, make backups every every day. So I had a backup right before yesterday's episode. So we lost the tree farm. But to be honest, it wasn't that big of a loss. I wasn't really happy with it. Uh, there was parts of it I liked and parts of it that I didn't like. Um, so we're we're right before that episode. Um, I went back to the base over there and put all the slabs back down and torched everything up again. So that's pretty much in the same spot. So like I said, the only thing we really lost was um, our pickaxe and, um, and the tree farm. So let's go ahead and redo the enchants again. Second time and see what we get here unbreaking efficiency uh, that one's efficiency three Ooh. Um, you know what I think I'll do just like a level one real fast or something or maybe I'll an, uh, maybe I'll do a uh, diamond sword because I haven't done a sword enchant yet so maybe we'll do a, a sword really quickly um, the game plan today is to do something a little bit different uh, I actually had a pretty cool idea for um for the base bane of arthropods and yeah, it's better than nothing i guess it's an enchanted sword <laughs> so um unbreaking three yeah i guess it's better than nothing fortune two i'll take it that's better like i said better than nothing uh, by the way guys it's like six in the morning i just had myself a bowl of cereal um it's so nice and cool outside so like my apartment's got a nice breeze blowing through it Got myself a nice big glass of ice water. It just feels like a good time to be playing some Minecraft. <laughs> so, um, for this next part of the video, I've got to get, actually do a bunch of strip mining. I've got to get a lot of cobblestone so we can uh, make some stone brick and stuff. I've got an idea for the base I want to try out. Maybe um, like a ruins type base where we have the different types of uh, uh, stone brick, like mossy cracked and then use slabs and stuff as well so uh I, if i find any diamonds or anything i'll obviously record it but i'll be back i had a couple questions last episode about my strip mine um you know how long did it take to find diamonds and you know what level am i on um i'm on 10 point uh it's like 10 10.6 10 uh 10 because i like to do 10 because 10 and then 11 12 and then 13 um you can basically see all the prime levels that whoever whoever did the math on it a long time ago decided that the best ore concentration was these levels. Uh, I like to do three high. Um, I know a lot of people that do two high just because that's walking height. Um, and people sort of ask how long I go. I actually just dig straight. Um, with this new dual wielding system, um, I just grab a bunch of torches and just, you know, as I'm going, I'll just, you know, plop a torch down and just keep moving and grab everything that i see in sight if i find a cave or anything like that i'll obviously uh go through most of it uh that i'm around and sometimes i do find caves sometimes i don't um but yeah that's pretty much how i found the 52 diamonds that i had uh that was actually just from the strip mine that was like the one over there in the corner um so yeah i think that was everything that you guys wanted to know about the strip mine there was a couple questions so all right i'm gonna keep mining all right this strip mine has not been as effective uh i've just about got my inventory full which is lots of cobblestone which is fantastic that's what i wanted but we found some diamonds so let's go ahead and mine around these guys and see how many we got hopefully there is well there's at least five and it's probably all we're gonna get all right so fortune two I've never really compared Fortune 2 before. Uh, so there's two. Okay. I mean, it seems to be working out pretty well so far. Uh, I'm getting better drops. Okay. Oh, that's only one. Only one. Uh, not bad for that little vein. 13 of them. I grab this redstone too. But I think my inventory is pretty much full, so... Uh, it's about time to head back. 
Okay, so we are back over at our area. Uh, like I said, I went through here and put slabs back down everywhere. So my idea for this is to use stone brick, cracked stone brick, mossy, and stone slabs throughout this place, but not like completely fully through. Um, I sort of want to do it to where it's um, where it's almost um, how would I say this? Almost like just a ruin. Uh, another thing that I was thinking about doing is somebody said that I should probably run grass through here. And another thing that I was looking at online, uh, I like kind of just googled ruins really quickly, and the ruins had grass in them as well. So uh, I'll, I'm gonna let that spread, and I guess we should get started. So the first thing that I think I want to do is get rid of these. And I'm only gonna focus on this area right now because I just kind of want to see how it's gonna look when we're done. Uh, so I'll probably go up to about right here. Um, so I've made all three. Uh, one thing I definitely, definitely want to do, um, do I have any other stone in here? Okay, I really didn't bring a lot of stone with me then. Uh, I'm thinking about getting rid of all of the andesite and, like, all of that stuff, but it's kind of everywhere, to be honest with you, so. Um, I'm trying to think about how I would want to start this, and I think what I should do is maybe just kind of... You know, mine a couple bricks here and there, and put some in, just like so. Um, you know, same same with the floor. I know we're going to be doing, um, you know, stone brick, but and grass hopefully. Uh, so something maybe like that. And like I said, I, I don't want it to run uh, all the way through. There, there, there. And uh, it might be kind of good to actually put a mossy one in. So this can be, you know, this can be interpreted pretty much any way you want to take it. Um, but I think it's going to turn out really well looking. So, and the mossy and the, the stone brick and stuff is like really easy to craft now, which is good. Like right there. Um, just want to make sure that I keep it sort of even. Let me... Yeah, I, I just, like, I think we need to get rid of that. And, um, so as we go, let me get rid of a couple more blocks here. The hardest decision to make with this is, you know, like, what block should we use where? So maybe I'll just place a couple of these down. Go back through. Just like so. Maybe something like that. And then, like I said, I really wanted really want to do grass so uh, any empty spots we will do this fill this in oops there we go and you so we'll have grass pretty much running throughout this thing I think uh, I think I'm gonna have to smelt some stone though, because I don't I don't think I want to keep the andesite, and I know that would be a pretty much a huge project because like if you walk through here, it is pretty much everywhere. Well, in some spots. Um, let's go back up. Um, anywhere else I want to put it? <laughs> Get it back up. There we go. Um, so that all turn into grass. And then for lighting, I've also brought um, vines. The only thing is, I think only vines can only... Oh, you can put them on stone. Okay. Well, it might be kind of cool to, um, you know, have like a vine there that'll grow down. Maybe a vine there. Kind of have vines growing throughout this place. Um, and then something... I brought leaves as and glowstone as well. Um, let's make a couple pieces of glowstone here. Maybe three. So we could, instead of having these torches, you know, maybe we could uh, do something like this. There we go. There we go. And then, yeah. Okay, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to continue to work on this for a little bit. I think I'm going to get rid of the andesite and the, uh, uh, you know, all of these things. And I'm going to replace those with stone. When I have that done and uh, the grass is spread, I will come back and we'll see how things have kind of turned out. Okay, guys, after a bunch of work, I think it's turned out really well. The only thing I'm not sure on yet is the grass. 
uh, you'll have to let me know. So we'll start off and look at this. So this is what I've got so far. This is what I think I want the entire place to look like. Um, I've, uh, I've pretty much, I got rid of all of the andesite, uh, you know, all of those types of, like, the, uh, those types of gravels and things like that. Also, I brought gravel, but I'm not sure that I want to use it. Um, I don't know if it would fit in anywhere here. Um, also, I went and collected some vines and made sure to put vines over, uh, these guys. Let me actually grab you. And that one's covered up, and I started spreading it over there a little bit as well. Uh, let's put that there so that'll grow down. So let me know what you think. Uh, the grass is spread all the way up through here. Now, the, the, the main question is, grass or no grass? So you see, you see grass, right? Now let me get rid of the rest of this. Actually, let me pick it up with this guy. That way we don't lose it. And then I'll give you another full view of what it looks like. I think grass personally looks better. You just have to let me know. Okay, so let's go back. Now, what do you think? Grass or no grass? So, I'll let you guys decide. Also, do you guys like the... Uh, I think we should put one right here probably as well. Um, let me grab cracked. So, there we go. So, let me know what you think. Uh, grass, no grass. But I think this is how I want the base to look. Also, going to leave ores in the game, in this cave, because we can always go mining somewhere else. Um, and I think that kind of gives it like a really natural look, uh, or any dirt I see, like, um, you know, just like any dirt in the cave I'll see. But, uh, I really, really, really like this. I think it looks pretty cool. Just I'm not sure on the grass situation, that's all. So let me know what you guys think. Um, I think it turned out really well. Uh, anyways, let's go ahead and move on. Okay, so the part that was like all that dirt right there, that wall, it was bothering me. So I decided to work on that a bit next, uh, so I continued our pathway up, um, and kind of made it just go up to here. Uh, this was very, very hard to do, trying to make this look right. I think what I need to do is, I think I'm going to take these blocks out of there, um, these as well. Grab these really quickly. Um, and I think I'm going to use a couple filler blocks and just kind of fill that in a bit more So maybe something like this right here. That's what I did just a second ago uh, Maybe no, I want to keep those So maybe a couple more filler blocks in here just to kind of bring that out just a little bit more um, Maybe not right here, and then what we'll do is we'll cover that up with more blocks. So um, We'll see. Let's get our stone out, too. So there's still a couple pieces of stone in here, like right there, then you, then you, then you, and you, and you. So something like that I think looks, a l oh yeah, that looks so much better. And then another piece of stone, there we go. Yeah, just trying to get that right filled because that hallway was a little off before. And uh, trying to get that, make that look a little bit better. That looks um, a lot better. Let me get rid of that. I think I'm actually going to put a light right here. That would look pretty good, I think. There we go. Awesome. Now, yeah, yeah, that, that actually turned out pretty well. Get rid of that. So it's pretty light down through here. I think I'm going to put a block right here. Uh-huh. And a block right there. just want this to kind of... I want to... It's so hard to get a good flow uh, of these different blocks, but like... Once we get them, we're pretty much in the clear, I think. This all turned together. Um, okay, let's do some vines. So, uh, we always put vines over lights. It's one of the rules that I'm following, so that'll grow right there. Right there. We probably won't do that one. Right there. So, those will grow. Uh, we actually have enough vines to where we can do this ourselves. Uh, you, you, you. Nice and long. Those will probably spread out as well a little bit. Yeah, I actually think that looks really well. We just have to get the grass to spread up through here. Um, and then maybe put some grass or the grass and then the tall grass up through here. And I think that'll look good. So once again, let me know what you guys think about the tall grass down through here. I think I might keep it and then just kind of thin it out a little bit more. Maybe something. Let's see what that looks like. I think the, I, okay, I think we have found a good compromise with the grass. 
uh, like a little bit of grass, not a lot, looks much, much better. So, doing ruins is uh, really hard, but in the end, it's going to be worth it, because it's going to be completely custom. It's going to look sick. Alright, folks, I'm going to have to end the video for now. Uh, running out of time, just need to get some other stuff done today. Other than that, though, I uh, hope you enjoyed, as always. Um, so, I think the game plan here is to keep doing this throughout the base. I think it's going to look really well, actually. Um, and so, one thing that I was sort of having problems deciding yesterday was how I was going to sort of work on incorporating our projects into this. And I'm thinking, like, like some ruined archway looks. Um, so for like that, that tree farm, there would have been sort of like a cracked archway or something like that. Maybe it would have worked out pretty well for us. Um, and I think a tree farm would look really nice with these kind of designs. Um, but yeah, so I think from now on, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, uh, do this kind of stuff off camera. Because now that you guys have seen what the idea that I want to do for this base, um, I don't really need to do much more. So we're going to continue on with the projects next episode. Uh, like I said, I apologize for the shortness of this video, um, but um, all in all, I think it turned out pretty well. So, uh, I hope you guys all have a fantastic afternoon, and I will talk with you later. This is my Devin.